anyone who earns a living with their camera knows that it's not that important. It's important to have certain minimum requirements and that's it. Yeah, what I'm talking about here is general photography. I'm talking wedding photography, portrait photography, pet photography, uh, real estate photography. There's so many fields of photography. What I'm not talking about is sports action, professional sports. That's not on the table in this discussion. Cameras that can facilitate professional sports shooting are not so cheap. That's end of story. And I'll probably go into that in another video. Because I do shoot action, but having said that I shoot action, it's a certain type of action. I shoot horses. Now, with horses, to catch a horse's movement uh, doesn't require a high burst rate, believe it or not. It requires the understanding of the horse. Moving back to the camera, Nikon D7100. Okay, what are the bits that matter? It's weather sealed. It's super strong and reliable. Good battery life. Now, I use a battery grip anyway, simply because I don't like messing around with batteries. Uh, and I just want to load it up and go and shoot. Also, the battery grip makes the ergonomics better for the steady camera. It will shoot five frames a second with good autofocus. The buffer will not clear quickly. It's not something you want to rely on. The odd burst is okay, but it won't clear the buffer very quickly. That is probably the downfall with this camera, I think. I can't see any other downfall with this camera body. 24 megapixel APS-C crop sensor, 1.5 crop compared to a full frame. Um, this can be handy for reach, of course. I shoot two of these bodies, by the way, in my daily work. I shoot two of these and I shoot um, a D800E for portraits. But for my general work, this is what I use. There's two card slots, pure shooting in a studio and you're tethered. Doesn't matter how many card slots you got, don't worry about it. But for general photography, I mean, the thing is, if you have the option of two card slots, then you owe it really to your client to take every possible precaution to deliver them a shoot that they're paying for and that they've contracted you for. You have got a contract, right? Mm. It will take AF lenses, the old AF lenses. I shoot AFS lenses mainly, but I also have a nice collection of AF lenses because I also shoot film cameras, Nikon film camera. The AF lenses work beautifully on this because it has an internal focus motor, so you're fine with those. Okay. It's a 24 megapixel sensor and it has no optical low pass filter. Don't get too excited about it. Although it gives you potential for sharper images, more detailed images. You're not really going to notice it until you start printing above three foot by two foot. And unless you are also using excellent glass and your technique is faultless, then you will notice that extra resolution that this is capable of and it is capable of it. But in general usage and with general lenses, you're not really going to see it. It does help when printing really big. And I do a lot of four foot prints in my work. And this coats with it beautifully. I've owned four of these over the years. I just bought this one to replace another one because I had a ridiculous shutter count on it. I bought this one, which has got 3,000 clicks on it, and I paid 250 for it. Uh, it's 250 sterling on eBay. So. There are people asking too much for them, 400. I wouldn't pay that for it, simply because there are really good ones for 200 to 250. Um, the maximum I would pay for one of these bodies with a low shutter count is 300. But either way, you're getting a really good piece of equipment that will see you for a long, long time. This has been a good piece of equipment for seven years, and it'll probably be a good piece of equipment for another seven. So there you go. If you're gonna spend money, don't spend it on the bodies spend it on the lenses that's the best piece of advice i can give anybody the glass really matters um these this is just me i use i use the periscope all the time because i do a lot of low shooting low angle shooting on the beach i never use live view the screen is meaningless to me i don't review or do anything on it it might as well be a film camera i shoot through the the uh, viewfinder the optical viewfinder and that's it well i hope that's helped if you want a good cheap camera, good solid camera, weatherproof, good resolution, fast enough for general for photography, D7100.